Hello and welcome to Tube Talk with D. Thank you guys for joining. I ran across this meme on the internet today with the heading that says Genie's Easy Cucumber Salad. And it was a meme that said, this is what did it. This is why they're getting a divorce. I actually thought that the meme was kind of funny to me. It actually said, this what did it. <laughs> so that was kind of funny to me. Uh, but in other things, I did want to get on here and kind of bring up some update uh, about a couple of things. Um, it seems that, uh, of course, you know, I'm going to talk about the Hampton um, saga that's been going on lately. But I did want to bring up something or bring something to you guys' attention, if I may. I was just um, going through the internet earlier today, earlier this morning, and I just so happened to come across something that kind of caught my eye. I'm sorry. I ain't saying shit but a motherfucking word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me turn this down. Uh, so, yes, I ran across something uh, earlier today on a person's, um, I guess it was on their story. Fix the broken child in you so you don't break the child that comes from you. Not addressing no more low vibrational people need me. I don't need you. Keep talking to the day you die and keep watching God elevate me. Of course, we know that this is Miss Bree Things. Uh, these are her words per today. She says she's not hard to find. This is today. This is actually, um, she's posting all of this today. So I don't know what's going on, who she's beefing with. Uh, well, we know, but we kind of know. And then she has this posted. Gotta be quicker than that. Didn't prove nada. And then the last one. Okay. Let's 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 look at let's take a look at this little shot right here. It says, take care of your children and you wouldn't have nothing to show. Stop asking me for money. Well, it has a money bag emoji. Ask your baby Zaddy. Now who could she be talking about on this? Who could she be talking about? Well, we know exactly who she's talking about. It is none other than the one and only Miss um, Sierra Watkins. That's going to be the baby father. I mean, the uh, first baby mother to her baby father, Mr. Robert Hampton. So that is exactly who she has been talking about. So she has all this beef going on, um, her and Sierra that they have going on right now. And I think it's really, really sad and unfortunate that the two of them are showing themselves to be um, very immature right now. So I've been kind of watching that situation kind of rather closely. I have not seen Sierra really post anything more about the situation. I was just on her page today and uh, she said that she wasn't going to go live anymore. I mean, but we all know that that can um, actually be... Uh, none other than hearsay. We know that Sierra also has a tendency to say one thing and produce a, another thing. Um, the next thing that I kind of want to kind of roll across, of course, is going to be Miss uh, The Rock Baby, Miss Krishan Rock. She just posted to her story not long ago. Uh, she's been being criticized for having the baby out, not taking time to heal herself, and, um, you know, not having the baby somewhere where the baby should be getting rest. This is the back of her new home she just purchased in L.A. She has given Blue um, a key to her home. And these are just things she posts on her story. She just posted this 30 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned the sound off. But she posted this on on her on her page and on her story a little while ago. And um, that is actually this is her page on Instagram and what it looks like, you know, on the ground. Um, there has been talk about Blue 
releasing photos of the baby's private parts because the baby has a hernia. She has addressed this. She does. She did say that the baby does have a hernia. And I think at this point in time, the both of them are actually just going uh, back and forth and doing the tit for tat thing. Uh, Blueface actually has been posting on his story, you know, a lot, lot more than normal more than usual so these are some things that he has been posting on his story as we have all seen him doing um the ad you know some kind of ad that he's doing with verified members uh underscore la i don't know what that is or what that's about or why he's doing that but um he's still promoting his music he's still um showing his kids you know like he's taking his kids to school every day he's spending a lot of time with his family um around the two kids you know just the inside of their home showing you how they live this is his hennessy room his alcohol room um this is him playing with his new daughter with him and Jaden. and he the last thing he just posted and she cute she is adorable you know the kids are innocent but uh he apparently just posted something this was 29 minutes ago but he did just post something that seems like he just has taken down and it had something to the effect to do with him telling Krishan to go and have the procedure on the baby because the baby has a hernia in the private area on the child so um hopefully this whole debacle works itself out and gets a whole lot better than um than it is you know than just that it is and one more thing that i wanted to talk about before i get off of course i'm not doing a live right now i am doing a pre-recorded video but i did want to speak about the story of of shirley strawberry who knew that Shirley Strawberry was going to become a Shirley Strawberry letter of her own? So we know that her husband has been locked up. We know that um, her husband has been um, locked up since last October. I mean, I'm sorry, since last year of July. So um, hold on a minute. Let me just turn my sound off while I'm searching through my through my files. But uh, the husband has been locked up since um, last July, shortly after the 4th of July last year. And he is still in jail right now. Well, I took it upon myself to look up some charges on Ernesto, uh, my own self. And I just want to play, before I get into his charges, I want to play a little clip of um, what he is talking about, you know, what his phone calls are like from jail. He is talking to a couple of his friends and family on the phone. Um, he talks to Lamont and Dion about being on YouTube. He seems really, really fascinated by all of the content creators slash bloggers that are talking about him. And he seems very, very, very proud of that. I don't know. It's a little weird, but he seems very proud of it. And let's get right into some of the phone calls um, as he discusses some things with um, some of his friends and family. Hey, what life is treating you like out there today? Good. I'm in Cali right now. Man, uh, let, let me ask a question. So, what you saw the other day, what that made me look like? Because I got a visit today from an old friend that popped up me out of jail today. Came at me, I need anything, what's going on? Track me down, bro, today. What the fuck did that shit look like? What, what, what You say what, an old friend came to track you down at jail? Yeah, check me out of jail, and me, did I need anything? Checking on me and all that type of shit today. Who was it? Huh? He seems to be really fascinated by this person that came to see him. He is saying that an old friend of 20 years came to see him, came to check on him, came to ask him did he need anything. Um, but he's a little upset because of just different reasons. And I really think that he's frustrated because, you know, Shirley is cutting off all communication with him. She has been distancing herself from him. And right now, the only few people that he has that is answering the phone for him um, may not be moving fast enough or may not be uh, telling him exactly what he wants to hear. So this is a three-way call. Uh, 
Come on, man. Oh, you say you are wrong? <laughs> okay, I'm going to make you lay out now, because I'm going to uh, just act it clear. I'm going to get the same result. That shit might make me look like some real hell of a shit, because I got a visit today from fucking Daryl today. Throw me all the way off. What do you think this is about? With that whitey black step and repeat behind the trail of the house. What? Yeah, they're looking for pictures. They're uploading your grill. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Somebody DM me, but I guess they thought about that shit and unsent that shit. What? Okay, so let me, let me give, give you guys a little bit about um, Ernesto. Ernesto, Ernest, he's been married, um, as we found out today, five times instead of four. He is still married to a lady from the 80s who he has not yet gotten a divorce from. Poor Shirley. We have not heard anything from her. She is losing all of... She has lost everything. Um, she His truck that he has, he has, uh, which is in his business name, by the way, he still has that. That's the only thing that he's holding on to. He keeps saying that he's getting out of jail. It's been a year. It's been over a year. Well, it's going on a year this October that the phone calls have been released. So it has been over a year since this past July that where he has been locked up, he has had no bond, and some of his charges range from um, fraud, financial fraud, to gun possession, to um, charges involving um, sexual charges involving some of his own children, at least two of them. Uh, whatever happens with this story, I wish him and Shirley the absolute best, but I don't think that he will be coming out anytime soon. Um, he's in his early 60s, and I hate for this for him to be going down this road at his age. Um, anyhow, that's all the commentary that I have for today. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and thank you for joining Tube Talk with D.